Bread lines. Bread lines in America. I mean, what is the number today? 17 million? So this coronavirus pandemic is, is truly ravaging American society. The working class, the poor people, they're the ones who suffer the most, right? So while the stock market is having its greatest days since 1938, you got 17 million people unemployed. And what do you guys get? Oh, you get a few crumbs I buy. Yeah, give them one check. That'll do. You get one check of $1,200. Maybe. Some of y'all. Not everybody. Not everybody. And, and by the way, they're not funding the postal service, right? So they bailed out the airlines. They gave them $45 billion. That's all nice and dandy <laughs> when no one is flying. <laughs> but the postal service, oh, yeah, y'all can wait. We'll deal with y'all later, even though it's collapsing. And they said they'll run out of money by September. So good luck getting that check delivered to you in the first place. Anyway, uh, you got bread lines forming now. Yes, yes, bread lines. And this amazes me that you have bread lines in the United States because, you know, last time I checked, Bernie Sanders isn't president. So how, how do you have bread lines and there's no socialist in the White House? Oh, my God. These are bread lines under Trump. Remember, make America great again. Make America great again. Oh. <laughs> More like Great Depression. Yeah. Take a look at this. Food lines are so long, it just breaks your heart. So this is in Texas. In Texas. All right. Look at that. Look at all these cars, man. Look at all these people waiting for food. Remember, this is under Trump, not Bernie Sanders, the socialist. Crazy, right? The San Antonio Food Bank aided about 10,000 households Thursday in a record-setting giveaway. Unbelievable. Look at that, man. I, f I really find this pretty incredible that the United States, the richest country on earth, the greatest country on earth, which Trump was supposed to make great again. They have food lines in Texas, no less. Does it get more American than that in Texas? And they got food lines. They got bread lines. Wow. Bernie Sanders, I told you, man, the socialists, they work behind the scenes. You don't know what's coming. You never know what's going to hit you, man. Putin from the right, Bernie from the left. <laughs> I'm not laughing at their misery. I'm laughing at this... The stupid mentality. Remember what they told you? Oh my God, we kind of like Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders, he's going to bankrupt the country. This goddamn socialist who is not even a socialist, he's going to bankrupt the country. How are you going to pay for Medicare for all? Hmm? How are you going to pay for free college? Hmm? How are you going to pay for the Green New Deal? Hmm? You're going to bankrupt this country. We're going to have bread lines. It's going to be like communist Soviet Russia, man. What are you doing? Am I making this up or did you not hear this 10,000 times on Fox News and even on lefty news, right? Did they not tell you a million times that Oh, Bernie Sanders is going to bankrupt the country and, you know, we're going to have bread lines and we're just, you know, it, it's going to be, it's going to be terrible. You don't remember shit like this? If I have to stand in a bread line because you voted for Bernie, just know I'm beating your ass and taking your bread. <laughs> or this shit. Socialism, you line up for bread. Capitalism, bread lines up for you. Really? Is, is that true? Because I could have sworn I'd just seen 10,000 people in Texas forming a bread line under Trump. You want to explain that one to me? <laughs> They gave all the money away. Your money. Your money. They gave it away to Wall Street. <laughs> you suckers. You got suckered. You got suckered by socialism for the rich and rugged individualism for the poor. The poor bastards who voted for Trump thinking that, oh, he's going to make America great again. Is it, is it really as great as you hoped? 17 million unemployed? Nurses having to come to work in garbage bags. You call that great? That's, that's making America great again? Hmm? Your nurses, American nurses and doctors coming to work. They got no masks. They got no gowns. They wearing fucking garbage bags. These are the crown jewels of your country, your gems, the people on the front line putting their lives at risk. They're out there saving lives. And you, you let them go to work in garbage bags? That's how much you respect your medical staff, your nurses and your doctors? Your country is falling apart so much to the point that Russia is sending you supplies? Oh, oh no, what is going on here? Where's Ford? Where's GM? Where's that American manufacturing gone? Huh? Why is the rust belt still rusty? Why can't you make basic shit? Is it, is it maybe because you're too busy making bombs? Could that be it? Why does Russia have to help you out? I thought, I thought Trump was going to make America great again. What's, what, what's this all about? 
Oh, damn, you got duped, huh? You got duped, son. You got played. A Russian military transport plane loaded with medical equipment took off early Wednesday from an airfield outside Moscow and headed for the U.S. Following a conversation between President Trump and his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin, Trump gratefully accepted this humanitarian aid. Well, yeah, that's great. You know, no one's knocking diplomacy. No, no one's against diplomacy, oh boy. Of course not. You gone mad. We going bombing. No one's against diplomacy. I, I mean, me, I got nothing against Russia sending American aid. I don't give a shit. That's great. Let countries help each other out. But uh, when Donald Trump, the president of the greatest country on earth, is going on Twitter and tagging Ford and the wrong account for General Motors and then writing to them in all caps, where are the masks and the medical equipment? That's, that's pathetic. And then you got to rely on Russia. Yes, Russia. Did I say the trigger word? Did I say it enough times? Russia! Russia! <laughs> the Reds! The Soviets! Yes, them! Putin, the ex-KGB officer, sending you aid. Wow. So, so let me get this straight. I, let's recap over here. So when Trump said, let's make America great again, GM and Ford, you know, these titans of industry, the titans of industry, right? The conveyor belt, you know, engineering a new industrial age, making America a superpower. All this crap, they can't even make medical masks now? That's pathetic. And on top of it, on top of it, you got, bre you got bread lines in Texas, no less? You got bread lines in the United States of America? And you didn't elect Bernie Sanders? What's going on there? And, and now Russia? Russia! The Soviets! <laughs> Trump still calls them the Soviet Union sometimes. The Russians are sending you medical equipment? What's going on here? Did, did you secretly elect Bernie Sanders and you're not telling us? Hmm? You got that, that, that pesky socialist in the Oval Office and you didn't tell us? Hmm? <laughs> wow. Wow. This is really, really something. Guys, please. Please, for the love of God, please someone tell Ben Shapiro because when he hears about this, when he hears about these breath lines, do you remember this, this wet fart Ben Shapiro? whining about bread lines. Do you remember this? Look at that. <laughs> Look at this wet fart. It's okay. Bread lines are good because they have bread. We will all sustain ourselves with the power of imagination. Yeah, that's what it's looking like for most Americans right now. Because you got 70 million unemployed, you gave them crumbs while you bailed out your friends and your buddies in Wall Street. And you told them, Let's sustain ourselves with the power of imagination. You, the capitalists, yes. Not just any capitalist, Donald Trump, a billionaire, an oligarch, a prime example of a capitalist. Yes, indeed. Look what he did with the beacon of capitalism, the United States. You have bread lines now? Russia, Russia. <laughs> Russia is sending you aid? You're... Your greatest companies, these iconic companies like GM and Ford, have been reduced to what? A former shadow of themselves? Incapable of producing masks? Was that on the manifesto for Make America Great Again? I don't know. I might have missed it. My bad. <laughs> but please, somebody tell Ben Shapiro. I'm, I'm sure that he has, he has a lot to say about these bread lines. And by, by the way, how could I forget? It's not just San Antonio. It's not just Texas. It's right outside Donald Trump's favorite golf resort. Yes, Mar-a-Lago. Yes, take a look. The recession bread lines are forming in Mar-a-Lago's shadow. Look at this, man. Wow. This is in Palm Beach, Florida. This is a four-minute drive from Mar-a-Lago. You have Donald Trump golfing and... His nice private estate and resort. And then, and then just on the doorstep, right outside, people literally starving, forming a bread line. What is that? What is that if not a symbol, an emblem of the massive wealth inequality in capitalism? How can you defend that? How can you justify that? You have no excuse. This isn't socialism. This is capitalism. Could it be that capitalism is... The cause of massive wealth inequality and you were full of shit? Everything they tell you, 
that they are scared of, everything that they accuse you of, they will do and they will perpetuate. Always. Always. All right? Ben Norton. This is from Ben Norton from The Gray Zone. I love him. Every time you see a ridiculous anti-communist propaganda claiming socialism is a failure that creates bread lines, never forget this real video from ultra-capitalist United States of America. The heart of capitalism, with thousands of Americans waiting five hours in line for food. Look at this. This is the reality. And where is Ben Shapiro? If you looked at this scene in black and white, you would think you're back in the 1920s or 30s during the era of the Great Depression. The line outside the Bowery Mission stretches down that street in that direction, and it comes back in this direction as well. They say that the line is getting longer and longer each day that this coronavirus crisis drags on. Uh, this, is all this beacon of capitalism, the United States, right, has bread lines now all over the country, 17 million unemployed, the highest amount of deaths due to coronavirus, more than any other country. Is it because America has a higher population than anyone else? No, 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 no. This is criminal negligence. This is because of incompetence. This is because of an administration that was more concerned in calling this a hoax, right? Running a racket, making a profit off of these masks, marking them up, shipping them off to foreign buyers if they pay higher. I mean, just disgusting, right? Your healthcare service it's not a service, it is an industry, all right? We're going to make some money because that's all we care about and that's what the business model is. And if we increase the wealth inequality, we don't care. And when we have a stimulus package, we're not going to stimulate shit, okay? The only people getting the money are our friends. Our friends are in Wall Street at bar. Of course, what do you think? Give the peasants a few crumbs and shut them up. Yes, yeah, good. Silence, you bastard. <laughs> that's, how, that's how they think. That's how they think. This is the reality. The airline industry got $45 billion. The private jet industry also got a piece of the pie. And now, what do the American workers do? What do you do? You have to form bread lines. And maybe you get a check. One check. That's it. Oh, you're unemployed? Too bad. Oh, you, you got coronavirus? You don't have health insurance? Too bad. We got to give money to Wall Street. Fuck you. Your government, your elected representatives have not just failed you, they have stuck a big fat knife in your back. That is what has happened, okay? And the next time you hear somebody criticizing socialism, show them the response from the greatest country on earth, yes, the United States of America. Oh, the beacon of capitalism and democracy. Show them. Show them the 17 million unemployed. Show them the people dying in the streets because they have no health care. Show them. Show them the wealth inequality. And, and where's Ben Shapiro? Where's Tucker Carlson? Ah, nowhere to be found. Of course not. <laughs> what a crock of shit. So not only do you have Russia sending you medical supplies, but you know, China. What is China doing? China is sending doctors. Yeah. And, and what is Cuba doing? Another communist country. Also sending doctors to countries in need. Capitalist countries who cannot cope are unable to deal with this crisis. Isn't that weird? So not only are these communist countries, which you said are, are so miserable when it comes to economics, and they are such an abysmal failure, not only are they able to cope, but they are able to give you medical supplies and give you doctors? Wow. Oh my God. How on earth did that happen? You care to explain? Could it be? Could it be? That you're full of shit? Could it be that capitalism isn't all that? Are you able to self-criticize? Does that work for you? Can you admit to some failures? No, of course not. Never. The market. How dare you criticize the free market? You know what's funny? These cocksuckers like Ben Shapiro, they will tell you about, oh, the free market, the market dictates this, and look, well, you know, the market said so, so, you know, there's the, the demand and supply, as, as if demand and supply only existed, you know, in capitalism. Before... <laughs> Before the Industrial Revolution, before the French Revolution, before, you know, the last couple centuries, there was never supply and demand ever in the entire history of humanity. <laughs> there were no markets. No. No markets. <laughs> Nothing. Capitalism invented everything. Capitalism was the advent of demand and supply. All right. <laughs> You know what's really funny? They will keep telling you about how the market dictates this and that, and you have to listen to what the market says. But then when it comes to people running criminal 
activities, rackets, racketeering, yes? The Trump family, Jared Kushner, making a profit off of stuff that you paid for. So what I'm saying is they stole your shit, literally stealing stuff that you paid for, you, the taxpayer. They include that in their free market and capitalism. So not only do you have to follow the will of the market, no, 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 we're going to rob you and you're going to shut the fuck up. Interesting. Because huh? I thought you said only socialists do that. I thought you, you said communism steals from people. Hmm? You said socialists do that. Turns out you're a fucking dumbass and you're full of shit. What just happened, the stimulus package, is one of the largest transfers of wealth in history. In fucking history. That wasn't socialism. All right? I didn't see Lenin and <laughs> fucking Putin and Stalin and Mao and whoever else you want to bring up or even I didn't see none of them in Capitol Hill mm -mm -mm. all I saw were corporate prostitutes who work for Wall Street giving away taxpayer money to their buddies in the private sector that's what I saw and you saw that too and the difference is you won't call it out because you're full of shit they keep telling you oh my god socialism communism it's the root of all evil and you know the capitalists, we, the Western powers, oh, the white man. We do no wrong. Western civilized society, we do no wrong. Only the communists and the socialists are capable of evil. We have the best system. Our system is democratic. Our system is just. We don't steal from anyone. And then they do the complete fucking opposite of everything they said. And on top of it, it's, it's not just, oh, you know, we're going to fuck over Americans. You know, we're going to fuck over our populace, our population. We're going to make sure that you are unemployed and you don't get no check. We're going to make sure that you don't have health care and you can't see a doctor. We're going to make sure that when it comes to a fucking pandemic, a fucking pandemic, we're not even going to give you masks and gloves, even if you're a doctor or a nurse. No, 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 no. We're not just going to fuck over our population, but we are also going to go all the way, all the way around the fucking globe and bomb the shit out of vietnamese villagers and farmers we're gonna fucking dumb napalm on those motherfuckers why because communism is bad oh communism is so bad bread lines bread lines bread lines but when we have bread lines in america uh, 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 why am i seeing bread lines here you you told me only communists do that why am i seeing two trillion dollars going to the rich and the powerful why am i seeing that i thought i thought only socialists and communists steal and rob and make you poor. Why am I seeing that? Hmm? What's going on here? You bomb. You went. You went to Vietnam. You had to contain communism in Southeast Asia, right? Remember containment? For those of you who studied the Cold War, you had to practice containment, aggressive foreign policy to stop communism because it's so fucking dangerous that it might come to the United States. Oh my God. The bread lines are going to come to the United States. The theft, the, the, the transfer of wealth from the populace to a select few was going to come to the United States. It was such a danger. You had to go and fucking bomb the shit out of everybody. And now you got to go and mess with Venezuela. And, and now you, you're messing with Syria and Iraq and, and Libya. Wow, you got, a, you got a real issue with socialist countries, don't you? Mm, that's really weird. So, I mean, this danger is, is something else, right? All of these socialist countries, these evil, evil, evil countries, you got to go and bomb the shit out of them because communism is such a danger. And yet all these dangers of communism that you warned us about are taking place right now. And, and they've been taking place for quite some damn time in the United States, in the heart of capitalism, in the beacon of democracy. And you, you are full of shit.